Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this little Amazon wig. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I am sitting here with this Amazon wig and I had first of all decided that I was not going to review this wig, that I was going to send it back. Well, I started looking at it. I was getting ready to pack it up and print out the label and everything and do the re return. And I was like, you know, let's, let's get it out and look at it. So I looked at it up close, took it out of the hairnet. And, you know, I thought, you know what? This wig is not, doesn't look anything like I thought it was going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and review this wig. So here is the wig. And let me turn around and let me let you all see. And guys, I've got this thing on today simply because they are working on my landscaping today and they're leaf blowing and it is really noisy. So I went ahead and stuck these things in my ears to kind of drown out some of that noise because I don't know if I'll have another time to do this review this week or not. So that's why I've got this in my ears. But let's talk about this wig for just a minute. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this wig. The pros, let's talk about what's good about this wig. First of all, when I took the wig out of the package, shook it out pretty good, put her on my head, this is pretty much how the wig looked. I didn't have to do, I had to do pretty much zero styling to this. She came with the already flippy where I didn't have to do any piece out or anything. This is the way the wig looks. I like that. I like a shake and go. I don't like one that I'm going to have to steam every single time I put it on my head. I, that just, no, I don't want to do that. But this particular wig looks really good out of the box. The other thing that I like about this wig are the hair fibers. They feel pretty good. They feel pretty soft. Um, no big issues there. It's not sticky or stiff or anything like that. The fibers feel pretty good on this wig for it to be a cheap wig. Now, does it feel like a high-end wig? It doesn't. It doesn't feel anything like a high-end wig. But for a cheap wig, hey, it feels pretty good. Now, let's talk about a couple of the cons. One of the cons is the color. I want you to see this. This color is gold, and it is, I don't know if you can see it here in the viewfinder, but this color is really gold. I mean, really gold. So if you're not going to want something that looks a little brassy, you know, in your hair, this wig may not be exactly what you're looking for because it is you know, it is gold. There's no way I can call this copper or caramel or anything like this. It's gold. But that doesn't really bother me because, you know, ladies, I wear wigs of every color and I don't care if it's realistic. But if you're wanting something that looks really realistic, I'm not sure that this would be, this would be it. Don't get me wrong. It looks fine to me, but it may not quite make that for you. So that's number one. Number two, if you don't like permatees, this wig will not be for you because this wig does have a fair amount of permatees up here in the top and on the sides. That kind of helps the wig to hold its shape. And, you know, I'm from Dar Dolly Parton country, y'all. I like big hair and I cannot lie. So if you want to zhuzh it up and make it as high as you want to, I don't care. But you can also smooth it down some and wear it a little bit flatter if you want to. Now, I don't like that on me. I like big, poofy hair. So I'm going to, you know, zhuzh it up and make it look, you know, messy and piecey and all that kind of stuff. But I really do kind of like this. And I think the style is really cute. I, I like it a lot, actually. So... Let's look at the specs on this wig and let's see what we've got here. Let me get this pulled up for us. Okay, so here is the wig in the picture. And I've got to say, the wig looks pretty much like the picture. It does. The wig looks a little thicker than the hair in this picture. But as far as the style, the little flippiness, the pieciness, it looks pretty much on point. Now, this says, this wig is 1969. It is a prime wig with free return. This wig right now has a coupon code of 8% that you can get this wig and you can get 8% off of this wig. So that might be something that you might want to do. Um, it says it's free delivery in two days. So that's always good. This wig is by Renner Show. It is a wavy curly wig. The wig is 7.48 times 3.94 times 1.97 inches. Um, average wig 
cap size. Um, it is called brown mixed with blonde highlights, um, as seen in the picture. Now, I've got to say, that is, I guess that's what you would call that. It looks more gold to me. I have another wig that's got about this same color of highlights in it. Um, that I reviewed on Amazon that was a, a straight bob, and that's what I would call the, this, the same color of gold. This is high-quality, heat-resistant synthetic fiber. Now, heat resistance, let's talk about that just a minute. Um, if I were going to apply heat on one of these Amazon wigs that says this, I would definitely try it back here in the back on a little small area first. I would not go in here with my curling iron and just you know, go to town on it. Try it in a small area because I actually frizzed a wig doing that one time that said heat resistance. So try it out on a small area first. It says style is short, natural, curly pixie cut wig with bangs. The average size of this wig is 22.05 inches. So if you have a 22 inch head circumference, this wig will accommodate you just fine. And I would say it probably fit up to a 23. Um, it says, due to differences in lighting, displays, and personal understanding, there may be slight differences in the product. Please refer to actual product for color, which I think that's smart. So I think as far as fitting the description on the website, this wig does that. I think it's exactly what they said, except for the heat divine. I don't know about that, but I think this wig is cute. I think the wig would be cute with a little headband or a head wrap if you wanted to wear something like that in the wig. But honestly, I don't think this wig needs a lot of stuff. I think the wig looks pretty doggone good just the way that it is. Um, for a cheap wig, I'm really glad that I actually took this out of the package and decided to go ahead and review it. Now, it also came with a wig cap. And, an extra added bonus, <laughs> some little eyelashes. So, this will probably be in a giveaway. I don't wear fake eyelashes anymore. I just, I can't see to put them on and they hit my glasses. So, I'll probably give these away in my Facebook group. So, if you all would like to join my Facebook group, it's One Brave Woman VIP group. It's on Facebook. Hop on over there. It's a private group. You have to request to join and I will add you all in there. I made it a private group to protect people's privacy because not just anybody can join. And if you have a public group, just anybody can join on there. And, you know, even with a private group, I've got almost 500 members. Things can every now and then, you know, get a little, um, you know, hectic. So I wanted to keep things as simple as possible and wanted people in there who really were uh, interested in wigs and makeup and not just somebody random stranger on the internet. So anyway, hop on over there and join if you'd like that. But back to the wig. I do like the wig. I think she's cute. I think she's just, she's an easy little wig that you should be able to just take out of the box and plop her on your head because that's, I, that's pretty much what I did. I gave her a good shake, kind of zhuzhed her up right here all the way through and this is the result. So for this price, I think she's a good value. I do, especially with that 8% coupon. I'll drop a link down in the description box to the wig if you all want to take a look at it. Guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Maranatha, folks. I love you guys. Bye-bye.